Hey, what's up dudes? It's Bags from Heavy Metal Kitchen and it has been two months since we uh, started aging that, uh, that rum that I did in the last video, so it's time to bottle it now. Now, if you want to see how I made the rum, I'll go ahead and I'll make sure I put the, the link in the description there so you can see how I made the deliciousness that we are about to put together now. So let's do it! So here we've got our cask. Hello, old friend. Uh, next to it, I've got a couple of strainers and a funnel and, of course, the bottle that we're going to be putting this bad boy in. Now, obviously, we're going to start by putting our funnel into the bottle because, you know, that's kind of key to the process. Then I'm going to take not one but two strainers. I'm going to put one on top of there just like that. And I'll throw the other one in there so that it actually has to strain through twice. Now, the reason you want to strain it is because, obviously, it's been sitting in a wood barrel for a couple of months. And it's there's nothing protecting that. It's straight up wood. And you can get little bitty chunks of wood in there. And you obviously don't want that in your rum. Now, in the last couple of times that I've done this, I haven't had any wood come out. But you know what? The one time that I don't strain it twice is the time that I do. So better safe than sorry. Now we take our cask. And the first thing we're going to want to do is pull out the bunghole. <laughs> Bung hole. At this point, it's just a matter of pouring the liquor out and into the funnel through the two filters and uh, wait until we're finished. Look at that beautiful amber color we got there. Now, I'm doing this in the sink so you can see this better, but those little chunkies in there is what filtered out. It's not much, but you don't want that in your room. Now, the last step in this process is easily the most important thing of the whole ordeal. If you forget everything else in these last two videos, remember this. The next step is right back to the drawing board and making you some new rum because you cannot, and I cannot stress this enough, you cannot let this barrel dry out, okay? Because you let it dry out, bad things happen. So as soon as you're done with a barrel, either go right into another batch, or if you're not ready for one, put some water in it. You cannot let it dry out, okay? From there on, enjoy the rum, dudes. 